Moving on now, opposition and pro-government demonstrations continue to take to the streets in Ecuador despite the announcement by President Rafael Correa that he will temporarily suspend withdrawal to controversial bills from the National Assembly. Our correspondent in Ecuador now, Liz Scherfius, files this report. Demonstrations have continued in Ecuador following President Rafael Correa's announcement that he has decided to temporarily suspend the inheritance tax bill and law for capital gains. This decision comes after the protests and violence which was registered last week. President Correa said the temporary withdrawal of the bills seek to create stable conditions for the arrival of Pope Francis on July 5th. We want the government to withdraw the bills definitively, and also that they do not just threaten us with temporary withdrawals, just to calm the waters for the visit of Pope Francis. As citizens, we deserve respect, no matter what political convictions we may have. Opposition leaders have said they are not willing to debate the bills, but rather want them completely discarded. Member of the opposition, Marcelo Larrea, solicited forms from the National Electoral Council on Tuesday to begin organizing a popular referendum. We have received a petition to revoke the office of the President of the Republic. We have given him the paperwork to collect and present us 1,741,990 signatures. But apart from this, they have to prove that the President of the Republic has not carried out in his term the way he proposed. Defenders of the Citizens' Revolution, on the other hand, have shown that they are open to debate these bills, which the government has assured will not affect the middle class or the poor. Carlos Baca of the September 30th Never Again Collective has said that his group and other social movements are organizing door-to-door -door brigades to promote dialogue, as well as national forums. I am inviting everyone to learn about these bills, to come to these forums. These will be forums where citizens, legislators, and other authorities will inform the public of what is the law of wealth distribution and capital gains in Ecuador. Pro-government demonstrators have shown themselves willing to debate the inheritance tax and capital gains law to reach a national consensus. Despite this, the opposition has remained firm that they will protest until these bills, which seek to redistribute wealth, are off the table. Liz Sherpius, Delisord, Ecuador.